the N3 with the N3 network testnet is released. We are working on migration to N3 network and develop more develop more modules on it. Today, I'm going to share some experience about how to develop a file contract on N3 network. <clears throat> As we all know, the best part of a DeFi project should be the token. On N3 network, there is a, there are NAP11 and the NAP17 standards as a token proposal. And especially the NAP17, which replaced the NAP5 on Neo Legacy as the final token standard. And here is the here is the link. The biggest difference between NAP17 and the NAP5 is the post transfer method has been added to the standard. And it's an, it is written on the, at the end of the contract, which enables contract can do a response to the user's transfer. And by this feature, some contract methods can be improved. <clears throat> For example, in Neo Legacy, um, FM both contract user or contract have has to invoke the stoke stake staking method in both contract, which means all DAP have to add this new interface in its front end. But with NAP 17 standard. <clears throat> When user, when user contract or contract transfer standard token to the vote contract, the old method in staking can be moved into on NAP17 payment method. I will show you the code, how it works on current Current, current contract. As you see, the old method in staking can, can be removed to the on NAP70 payment. Mm. These improvements simplified work on, fr on front end development part. The front end developer do not need to <coughs> build more interface to compatible with, with the staking contract. And, and then another, on another hand, on contract development side, with this feature, some of important DeFi protocol, which is hard to build on Neo Legacy, like Flash Law, can be implemented on N3 network easily now. Here, I had to write some fake code to demonstrate it. On Neo Legacy, if we would like to implement a flash law, we have to provide a special interface which invoke the dynamic call between the transfer of contract and user. And if the logic of of the if the logic did not implement in the contract yet, a new contract has to be deployed before using the flash law. That was not mm. very convenient. Mm. From the presentation, you can see um, the user borrowed money from contract and he have to he have to have a 
um, deploy contract which which to which um, can which has the has has the method the user want to invoke already but with the on on n3 version no more contract has to be deployed in the swap contract <clears throat> token will be sent to address first here um, from the safe transfer the token will sent from the sent from contract to to address first and the logic i implement in on nap 70 payment in another contract which means um, and and after that no met user or contract do just let the balance check at the end of at the end pass. The transaction will be considered considered as legal and be broadcast safe. <clears throat> and next is NAP eleven. Mm. For NAP11 contract, mm. properties and token ID have been added in it to make each token <coughs> be non-fungible, which can be considered as the NFT on Neo on N3 network now. Back to our Flamingo project. The project include wrapper, vault, swap, perp, and DAO modulus. Here I will introduce the vault, swap, and the perp modulus, which can be a demo to help you to build a defined smart contract on N3 network now. <clears throat> Now we have finished the, the migration of world contract and but uh, the code is still on testing. Here is the open source code link. Vote system enable user to stare, state, state their own liquid, liquidity asset to receive the rewards from system. And I will show the code how it works. As we said before, on N3 network, when we develop a contract, we can use on NAP 17 payment to replace the staking method. <laughs> when user transfer their on NAP 17 access to the vote contract, we catch we catch the asset hash from calling script hash first, and then check the staking status, like uh, is the contract puzzled or is the asset in whitelist and uh, is the from address valid and we also do not allow the, the from address is the contract address himself if all the status satisfied we start to update the stake info
as you know, in smart contract, it is hard to update all user information in one transaction. So we need to set a global record to help to calculate everyone's profit instead. <coughs> Looks here in update stake record method. We settle the history unit stock asset profit first. Then use the current share amount asset, which represents the FM distributed in every second to divide the, <clears throat> the current total stake amount now and get the new current unit stock profit to record this valuing system. After that, we check if the user had stack stake record before. If so, we will calculate the profit by all profit minus the profit before stake this time. And after the settle all the profit together and see if it in contract. <laughs> and I have write a a, a simple graph to to make sure make, to make to, to help you guys to find out why we need a global record to calculate the profit for the user and uh, i think the presentation here will be sent to you after the presentation <clears throat> The next part is the is the refund method now. Check um, as the same as before. We will check the contract status first. Check if the contract puzzle and. We will also check check the witness from for from address. I have to point out there is a different mechanism. Security security check method with solidity contract. In solidity contract, it is usually using messenger sender to ensure the transaction is sent by right user. But um, this kind of mechanism has a great shortage. User needs to send a proof transaction for contract first. If he wants to interact with, uh, with a contract anymore. Mm, if we use the check witness method, it can see one approved transaction and and avoid the risk of too much improvement and and a defy contract. After the check witness, after the permission check, hmm, we will get the user stock information and compare with the input amount. If the amount is correct, contract will transfer the asset to user and update the stake amount in record. At the same time, the stake record should be updated too. And the last core part of vote contract is the claim the profit of stake. As the same, we will check the contract status at first and check the sign of user and calculate 
how many assets had been generated in the system. In this set of profit method, we calculate the minus profit, which means um, the, the sum amount before user stuck in. And we calculate the sum profit, means the user claim his profit. And we use the, um, we use the last, we use the sum profit to minus the um, pre previous one and multiply the amount to user stake. And then the current profit of user is being calculated. And that's the amount of token user will reward it. Above all, are the core parts of the world contract. The ne next part is the swap, con swap contract. Like most swap contract now, we divide it as three main parts. Mm. Router part, the factory part, and exchange pair part. If you are familiar with union swap or switch swap, you will know that all the current current DAX are take this structure. In, in factory contract, mm. it's responsible for reject or create on one, one new exchange pair. The code here, mm. you can create exchange pair by input the token A, token B, and the exchange pair contract hash, or you can readjust an uh, exchange pair which has been deployed on network, uh, has been de deployed on blockchain too. And the core part is is should be the router contract. In the router contract, we can add liquidity, remove the liquidity, and swap token in, and finally do the take that do the final swap. <laughs> In the contract, we have defined two kinds of swap method. Um, the first um, exact in for out and exact out for in, which means one of the amounts confirmed by user and another input or output decided by contract calculation. We will take a, take the exact in for out as an example. Contract check the witness and the deadline of transaction first. Deadline is a parameter make the this make this transaction will not um, uh, be broadcast to too much far away from the user send the, the transaction send.
then we take the input amount and swap path to get the amount get the amount out by the formula x multi y equals k. Here you can see we use the amount in to generate the start amounts array zero and in a, in a get amount out loop. In that method, we use um, the x multi y equals k and divided uh, 0.3 percent which which is the transaction fee on each pass and get the final amount out <laughs> then when we get the amount, we will transfer the user token to the first exchange pair contract. It's a dynamic call. And if the transact if the transfer fail, we will through an exception by that to go back the whole transaction. When the token transfer to the exchange pair, we start the swap, the exact swap. When a set in has been transferred to exchange pair contract, a loop swap a loop for swap has starts now. In this loop, each exchange pair contract address will be set as the next target for swap. Here at here. And if the path if if it is the end of the path, we will give the two address, which means users address to the to two parameter and do the swap in the exchange pair contract. That's the swap code. Contract also check the whether the corner is the router and check whether the swap amount satisfy the rules and the reserve amount after after pair. If all conditions are met, transfer the token to the target address. And, and at the end of the contract, we will check all the status, like the, like the balance of contract to ensure all the calculation is right. And the, the token in exchange pair contract will not reduce. If so, all the transaction will be illegal and the event will be emit. And um, Neo Lexi, it cannot deploy a contract by contract, which means the factory cannot generate a exchange pair by itself. But um, now on N3 network,
we have improved this point and customer exchange pair can be created on factory contract now. And here, we will add some code. We can generate the exchange contract hardship by, by the system itself. Don't need to input one more parameter to generate the exchange pair contract. And the user can also add the exchange pair they like to the whole DEX. Above is the call of the swap contract and uh, you can you can check the, the you can check the code by still link one is the contract on neolexi and uh, another one is on n3 test network but the n3 version is on the testing now we will if you have any bug found or any good idea to improve the, the whole the system, you can raise the issue or raise the pro request. We will welcome to your to your funds. And the last the next part is the perk system. Um, if you focus on the focus your own attention on Flamingo community. You will know we have hold two per competition in past several months, <clears throat> and um, the per system is a little bit com complexity. Complexity. Here I will give you a brief introduction about how it works. On structure, we set there two main parts for perp system. The first is the virtual out market maker, and another is the account system. In virtual out market maker system, it is responsible for calculate the price of transaction target. These are the core method, which used to calculate the price when a user short do a short or long transaction. And it's, it also is the entry of user to um, do the transaction in the whole system. like the buy method and the sell method. Um, <laughs> and the next is the account system. In account system, it saves saves or information about user include margin position and whether the account can be settled or liquid liquidity and the realized profit and the loss you can see here you can can intact with contract by PNL to know whether your account lose or get a lot of profit. 
and you can also check the is your account bankrupt Here I will introduce the, the core part, the trade method here to help you understand the how how does the per contract work. When the start, when the trade start on the perp system. We will check the. We will check the user's position already, um, already in system first. If the side of transaction means long. If the side of transaction means long or short is not same as the. Origin, as as the origin side. The method will decide close the origin origin position before or open more position first. In the open position process, the system will check the funding loss which is generated by the gap between index price and your transaction price. <laughs> and update the entry value position and reset the funding loss. Here I have write a, a brief draw to make you understand how the funding loss generated by difference between index price and market price. And the core part of the perp system should be the per should be the profit and loss calculation. Here is the here is the method. You can look the method. Mm. It's, its name is calculate profit and loss with price. This price is generated by watch virtual auto make auto market maker. And the input parameter is the count which one to from which is the user and the amount is the is the is a transaction amount. We are called the get x out, um, which show you before is the function in virtual in VA virtual auto market maker to calculate when you input uh, amount A and what is the output of another token. And then we will check if if the amount is all of your size. If not, we will calculate the the percent of your of of the amount in your position. Then we will use the this two value. Profit one and profit two to do the <coughs> minus. And here, if you the precision side is long, 
we will get the we will use the price now to minus the price of entry to get the profit. And in the other hand, is you if you if the side is is short, we will take take the negative value. And that's the core part of how we get a count, um, get money or lose money in this system. And, and now we are still try to migrate this contract to M3 network. But you can still use the contract on Neo Lexi to as a demo to help you develop your own contract. And at the and before the end of sharing, I would like to show some tips in which which we have made some trouble to help you avoid some troubles on contract development. You know, we also uh, meet these troubles in when we develop develop the N3 contract. The first is the time accuracy. In N3 network, the time accuracy has changed from seconds upgrade to the million seconds to make the system more accurate. So if your contract on Neo Lexi had used the timestamp as a parameter, you have to change this um, formula by divide 1000 or something else, but you have to care about it. And another update is or UTXO mode asset has been removed. And so now if you want to track and transfer pass, notifications in contract will be necessary. Then the last is the free transaction have been removed in N3 network too. I know I found some defined system design their economic model by using the free transaction to feed price or something in each block. But when the free get free transaction in, can, is removed, it is hard to do the same things in N3 network now. So don't forget to upgrade your economic model to mm, that's what that's 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 all the content I would like to share on this presentation. Mm, thanks for your join. So okay. Litton, thank you for the presentation. So do you still have some time probably for some questions? Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, dear participants, if you have further questions regarding uh, DeFi like product uh, future development uh, or more, you can uh, raise your hand. Like we, we do have this raise function in the Zoom call. Uh, you need to raise the hands, then I know you, you would like to ask a question, then I will unmute you. So Andre, I think you are able to speak now. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm Adrian from Norway. Uh, I would. Uh, I had a question um, during the presentation regarding the uh, perpetual contract on Flamingo. Uh, 
Is it expected that uh, arbitrage trading will uh, balance the long and short positions once the PERP contract is live? Or how do you expect it to meet the target uh, index price? Mm. We designed the finding laws to make the index price, uh, to make the market, transact, market price track the index price. Um, here I I draw uh, I will start my screen share again. Um, here I draw uh, I draw a same brief graph. If the there is difference between index index price and the market price, um, the funding loss will generate in the system. So uh, it looks very like the 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 staking method and um, this um, funding loss will be accumulated until your position in the system and will 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 be settled when you're close all your position so if you still make the make your position away from the from the index price and the, the funding loss will be a uh, great to prevent prevent you do that that's the how we make the index max price track the index price okay thank you can i have a follow-up question sure uh, as we saw in the, the perpetual testing uh, phase, uh, the price uh, really fast got away from the market price because there were no real market price discovery. Uh, is it intended that the market price will be discovered from Oracle or should it be from market itself, market movements? Mm, that's a question we are in discussion too. We find in our competition, the market price change is not so fast to track the, the index price. And we we also find, uh, we like to find a, met, find a method to to make it change, change character correctly. But, uh, but uh, we didn't find a, a perfect solution yet uh, so if you if you had uh, some good solution or good idea can tell us um, to help us to make the system better or or you can do some looks better system too Okay, for, for, thank you very much. Uh, it's Adrian from the My Mingle team, so we are working closely with you guys. But I, I think, um, sure. I think I just would have the question here for everyone else as well. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. So do we have more questions? If not, then I think we will uh, end the session a little bit early than planned. Okay. Then I guess that's all for today. And thank you, Li Chen, again for the presentation. And thank you, everyone, for participation tonight. Just a quick reminder, we're going to have another se session tomorrow same time and the topic will be uh, the NEO file storage system and it will be presented by the NEO SPCC team. Okay, cool. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Hey, uh, I have yes? a question. Sorry, I mm -hmm. missed, I just came across this today. Uh, okay. The uh, first June 19 uh, session, will it be available for us to see the recording of it? Yes, uh, we actually recording every sessions and we will upload it to the new YouTube account and uh, share it in the group soon. 
Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, then thank you everyone. See you soon.